Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. We are back in the saddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy days we have these last few days of February 2024. Wow. Last few days of February 2024. You know, like when you look uh, towards a particular thing, a particular date, you know, as a little kid, you know, you're looking towards maybe your birthday or you're looking towards Christmas or you're looking towards Easter or you're looking towards some holiday and you're just thinking, when is it going to come? And then when you get to be an adult, you might look at things in a little different light and be like, oh my gosh, look, at it's here again so quick as everything just seems to speed up as you get older. You have that reference point that's a little bit longer since your own personal great reset coming back into the body and having the memory wipe and all. But before I forget, <clears throat> let's thank our patrons again for their support because we couldn't do it without you guys. We definitely want to say a huge thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. As Patreon continues to grow. Uh, these are the last moments of Jacob Rothschild as he has left planet Earth from the 3D plane. Oh, wait a minute. Is this? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's it. I'm sure. I'm certain of it. I think these are the last moments. Yes. And yes yeah. yeah. He's talking to his family and yes. he is saying, oh, you know, to be human and to enjoy the good things in life. Yes. That's all he wanted to do. Poor Rothschild. So, yes, Jacob Rothschild, dead at age 87. Hmm. Of course, you know, we could go back through that lineage and find that you know one of his ancestors was directly responsible for the coming into being of the nation of Israel after so many years of not existing over 1800 plus years it did not exist and then they brought it back it wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the Balfour declaration uh, again by a Rothschild and then of course we can look to the infamous statement uh, by an ancestor of that ancestor saying, I don't care what puppet's on the throne of England. I control the money. I make the decisions. Yes, absolutely. It is through the monetary system that the few control the many. And this is a, absolutely a prime example. Now, you know, Cindy with her abilities could always sense people <clears throat> that are on the other side when they're on the other side. One thing that we see Often when you're talking about people like this or when you're talking about other major, major players in the control system of this world. Yeah, it makes you think about that thing where, you know, oh, you could have fame and fortune, but you got to sell your soul to the devil. Well, you know, again, usually she can have no problem finding the person that's gone on the other side, be it by uh, accident or dying, you know, of what you would call natural conditions like heart, heart disease and cancer, which often really are truly not natural. They're being artificially induced. But when we look at these beings, uh, often what she gets is just darkness. Mm -hmm. It is. It, you know, when I, when I look to him, I, I see this weird, it's a ledge of darkness. I'm not sure what to think of it. Um, haven't quite seen this one before. It's like I see a ledge. And then under this ledge, it's almost like a cave. And then there's just, you just, it's like he's gone into this dark abyss type of energy. And then I see nothingness. I feel nothingness because usually I can feel someone who's passed on the same as I feel as someone who's alive. I mean, the energies are very similar. The read is very similar. So this is just, um, not sure what to think about this one. Well, <clears throat> something was just hap uh, just clicking in my mind, and, and I just want to throw it out there because so many people are into the gaming world, and there's this thought that there are non-playing NPCs. Uh, and I wonder if there really was, say, an AI-generated NPC that you took out of the game, so to speak, would you even notice? That's a good point. Wow, I mean, that that's the very first time that ever hit me. Maybe it's hit you guys in the past too, but how about 
the darkest of the dark controlling entities, what if they weren't really, I mean, now we, we've all kind of thought, you know, they're not really human per se. They don't have the, the feelings, the emotions, that compassion for others. But what if, <laughs> what if, you know, some of these are truly uh, machines? Or, or the, you know, whatever humanity, whatever biological components that are in there um, are taken from other sources, like, you know, with cloning, etc. And, you know, this, maybe they're more manufactured than we realize. Well, you know, I look at AI and I, I feel that AI has basically written the Bible, you know, with, with the help of a human hand, telling a human hand and a Draco what to do and what to put on that paper. So, you know, God of the Bible, that I think it's AI. So this makes perfect sense to me that they would put entities in charge that were AI-based and AI-driven um, could be very plausible. Yeah, absolutely. So, wow, I felt like, wow, we could go off on a total different tangent here <laughs> and not cover this because I've always thought it's a very dangerous thing to think of, of the possibility of non-playing characters, um, beings out there that you might think are human, but they're not really, really human. Uh, they're soulless. Now, there there are other traditions that do talk about this type of thing uh, as well. Um, we will circle the wagons back to that topic at a later date and because we want to get you guys caught up with the news. Um, but yeah, thinking about, say, perhaps these these people that we can't understand how they can look at things the way uh, they do because they're totally, totally against anything that you or I would, you know, feel, say, or do. Maybe it's because, you know, we've always thought, well, they, they kind of do give their soul away and, you know, they are slowly being taken over. But maybe, again, some are more manufactured than we think. When you look to, um, you know, JB, it's not the original. Uh, we, you know, we, we've gotten clear uh, mention of that from the guides. And, you know, you don't have to look too hard to tell that it's not the same person. And there's multiple. And there's multiple of HRC. There's multiple of Elon. There's There's multiple of... Uh, 45 as well. There's multiple of Pooty Poo. Pretty much anybody of, of big significance, there's more than one of them. And yeah, body doubles. We, we look back to the Bush thing uh, where Papa Bush was f fooled by you know one of the head of the alphabet soups that came in and was giving him a briefing and then took off a mask and he was totally fooled or at least they want us to think that. But it's more than that, because when Cindy's talking about AI that's writing the Bible, the AI that controls this planet is is tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years old. It's not developed by Homo sapiens. It was developed way before Homo sapiens was ever brought into being, uh, being mutated from something else. And, and this is what the big reveal is. Yes, you, you've definitely been part of this alien ant farm living on a prison planet like all the other little you know slogans that have been thought up sayings thought up over the years here you have the cia built 12 spy bases in ukraine <clears throat> and waged shadow war for the last decade bombshell new york times report confirms so on sunday the new york times and again all the major media is just simply it's big brother you know, if you're looking at 1984, the movie, and they're constantly, there are some people that all they do is change names and faces and rerun the same stories in a different location to give us the feeling that there's something new happening out there. But in reality, it's all just a bunch of bull. It's all lies to get people emotionally involved. And, you know, there's just so much to, to share in so little time. And, and you guys have heard us go on this for diatribe for, you know, seven years plus now. They have to get us emotionally involved. We do have emotions. Uh, perhaps some of them have given away all the good emotions. Um, but we do have a full assortment of emotions. And that's how they control us. 
What's the takeaway from this, which includes a network of 12 secret bases right alongside the Ukrainian-Russian uh, border, and the fact that the CIA was in there, and they were not only modernizing Ukraine's intelligence services, but also launching, you know, uh, sabotage acts by, you know, again, it's, it's what's said in here is that, well, you know what? It looks like Putin was right the whole time. Ah, see, that's really where they want us to go with this. We, we, we're, we're to understand that Putin was right. So what Putin and Xi and the rest of the BRICS nations decide to do and what happens to the U.S., well, we really had it coming. That's how they're going to portray this. What happens to NATO, they really had it coming. And also, you know, with them saying, you know, they weren't treating you guys well. We liberated you. Come join us. This is what they're, you know, going to be given to us. And, and maybe you'll have an opportunity when they, you know, divide up the, the country. Well, if you really want to, you know, live under Russian control, go to Nebraska. If you really want to live under CCP control, go to California. If you want to be part of the New Mexican Republic, you know, head on, head on down to New Mexico or Texas or something, you know, they might try to pose benevolent. Absolutely. You know, again, because unfortunately, a a large part of the people are still going to kind of just whatever they're told, they're going to just blindly believed. And and this has happened to humanity all throughout the years. So, you know, what, what we have here is more, more evidence, quote unquote, more reason for what's coming next. And yeah, this is part of the bigger picture, you know, from all those biological labs to, you know, it, it's just ongoing. So the one thing that won't exist anymore is the CIA or the FBI, the intelligence agencies of the U.S. as we know them. But it doesn't really matter because what's going to happen? It's going to be just like what happened when, when well, you know, uh, the Nazis were no longer were. And what happened with all their heads? Well, if the heads didn't roll, they got absorbed into the U.S. and they got absorbed into the Soviet Union at that time. And some of them even ran NASA. Yeah, this is exactly, you know, they just change hats. They change outfits. But they'll, they'll end up doing what they're doing because ultimately, what are they doing? They're controlling humanity. This is part of how it, it really works. The biggest part of them being able to do this is that we actually believe that the borders make a difference. That And, and some will say, what do you mean? Look what's happening to us now because the border is not blocked. Well, you know, was there a wall up when the Native Americans were invaded by the Europeans? No, there were no wall, war, you know, walls, and the Native Americans were all herded into their camps. And you know, again, instead of uh, in, instead of reservations, we're going to have FEMA camps. This is a, there's no real difference. This the the, the armaments are changing. Uh, the outward look, the names of different countries change. Sometimes they come back after thousands of years. But this is what the system does. As long as we don't get it, as long as you feel patriotic about whatever country you're in and you think you have the best system of governance, and you actually think there is a good system of governance on the planet, then we still haven't gotten it. So when you look... Um, at a time when the indigenous people were here, you can see that you could drink out of any stream, any lake um, that you wanted to. You could eat fish from any stream, any lake. You could hunt. Um, there was no disease that was running rampant. Uh, there need not be locks on the doors because there were no, there were no um, thieves. There needed no prisons because there were no people breaking in and and causing harm to one another the system that was in place with the indigenous people was working you you can't really look at the system now and say well the system that they put in place is a great one because i don't see that yeah and when when you're looking at uh like the statement that cindy just made um you have to roll back farther through the end of the Bronze Age into the Caliuga, going back to like the Silver and the Gold Age, um, deterioration does set in naturally 
of many different things, in, including uh, the higher spiritual uh, connection that we have. What we have connection-wise in the Silver and the Gold Age is far beyond what we do in the Kali Yuga. And that part is natural, but the part that's not natural is the system, the dark matrix that, that we're under. And we've um, shared on that in the past, and, and maybe we could do a deeper rehash uh, historically into that. But this dark system is not part of, of the original matrix. Um, so while it is natural to have cycles that are more, let's just simply say materialistic, and other ones that are more um, spiritual in embodiment, and again, it's about this embodied existence in the 3D that we're talking about, this matrix that we have is is a parasitic one that's literally bled in from a different reality. If you guys remember the move, uh, the show Sliders, where those kids were jumping from one reality to a next and never knowing what uh, they were going to find, it is very much like that. There are uh, things like wormholes, and we can uh, jump from one universe into another universe with our consciousness. The only thing that is eternal is our consciousness itself. The bodies are just temporary vehicles. This entire universe um, is really, in, in reality, uh, set up for a, a series of temporary events because we are actually beyond even the universe itself. And um, maybe, again, if you haven't checked out Hearts Home. Um, and you're curious about these type of things, uh, jump over to Heart's Home and there's playlists to go deeper into, as well as uh, some of the videos on evolutionary and on uh, EE Arts too, down the spiritual lane. So you have China deciding to send a frigate and a destroyer into the Red Sea, uh, yeah, which is loaded with all sorts of military hardware. About 10 days, not even 10 days earlier, we had three warships from France, Italy, and Germany moving into the Red Sea. And again, let alone everything that's there from the U.S. And the U.S. made U.S. and U.K. made more attacks on, on Yemen. It's, it's just a regular occurrence at this point in time. Israel is basically saying uh, they're going to control the Gaza for the foreseeable future. They're, they're, they're not going to... Um, back off or allow for any autonomy as you have the Palestinian uh, political leadership, you know, basically stepping down. What are they going to do? It, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you know, this is this is just like what we'll be faced with uh, in, in many of the NATO countries. And, you know, th they are going to rework things. And, you know, even when uh, the new system is in place. We might get used to or have to get used to seeing uh, soldiers from other countries that maybe we always heard the wars happening way over there, Syria, Iraq, etc. Uh, being in our country and policing us. You know, this is this is the karmic backlash that the controllers understand and they create um, they create, create the conditions so that they can work the karma, which is just simply laws of, laws of cause and effect, into working for them. Mm -hmm. it, it is. It's, you know, it's just a system where, what do you do? You, you kind of got to just step out of it. That's what you do <laughs> and not be a part of it uh, as best as you can and kind of look at your own life and say, well, where am I holding up this circus tent and how can I not be part of the reinforcement of this system? And that's how we walk ourselves out of it. Definitely so much easier said than done. But gosh, you know, things were so much better way back when. And it's not that we can't go back there. It's just a matter of are, are we ready to? Yeah, I and mean, there we're talking about different yugas and not necessarily, you know, the 70s, the 80s, the 60s, whatever. China unveils its space mission plans, about 100 launches this year. And, and again, we have two months uh, already basically done with in this year, this big, big key critical year. You know, this is all part of the shift, the big shift in the power structure. 
as China, you know, again, has been upheld uh, at the, in the way the U.S. was upheld as the shining example of what's to come. If you ever watched any of those old military movies, you know, uh, you know, oh, the, U- the U.S. is getting into uh, the action and, you know, it, it, uh, you know, all the propaganda movies. This is this is all we get nowadays too. propaganda as you're looking at the first damaged Ukrainian M1A. One S.A. Abrams tank. Yeah, all that, you know, again, money that the U.S. has spent on defense, which in reality now many people are understanding it was just basically theft going on. Uh, But the whole system is theft. Your taxes are theft. Uh, Everything, it's theft because what they sell us on is not the reality. The reality is, you know, again, they take they give to themselves and if you get any breadcrumbs just be thankful that that's the way the system is and it doesn't matter if you're in russia china or the nato countries it's the system it's inherently greedy because the politicians they're the worst of the bunch these are the most uh, controllable people on the planet from the sense that they're reliable in the sense that they know they're always going to be controlled by greed they they you know this is just a sad reality of what we have and here you have the norwegian dawn this is a cruise ship um moritas moritius uh, a beautiful uh, island area over off of africa um, you know, it's not uncommon to have norovirus and things like this. This is, I think, what they're suspecting. People are having stomach issues, but there's a lot of people having stomach issues and not feeling good everywhere. And again, there's a lot of immune systems that are not uh, functioning properly. So this one's been prevented from docking be- by the, uh, the health uh, organization in the country because they didn't want anybody else getting sick. Again, boost your immune system. This is the young man that was in front of the Israeli embassy uh, that set fire, unfortunately, to himself, part of the U.S. service. And, you know, this is where, this is one of my pet peeves, is that people can still, unfortunately, get so uh, caught up in brainwashed and you know hey it's in my family too you know service to your country and you know there was one uh, person that has tons of followers here that was saying uh, he betrayed his country by setting himself on fire he's not here anymore you know again it, even when you get people that give you 90 percent good information 90 percent uh they're working to expose things but they're still 10 percent controlled by the same system that they're arguing about exposing they're still lost they're still lost if if your big takeaway is this this guy betrayed his country uh you're an idiot you really are i mean there's just no way around it his his life was ruined by his his country and the system because every country is part of this system you know i think it's we have to take away a layer of information and go deeper when we see things like this have the understanding that this was a build-up um of information that this person took unto themselves and this is what happened um to me i i feel really really bad for the whole situation i think this was someone who was very tortured i don't think he was uh tortured under his own will i i think there was manipulation external manipulation going on here in some way shape or form um but it's just really unfortunate when i see this people are doing things that they think um they're doing it because that's the best thing they know to do and where did that come from and why is this you know and it came from a system that's very manipulative and a system that's uh that's not true you know i mean look at again look at our taxes they say we're paying for one thing but we're not and we all know that we're not can we just stop paying no we can't because that force is so big we could lose everything. Unfortunately, we know people who 
who thought that that was the right road to take and they did and they lost everything and and that's that's how big of a hand that we're playing against right now it's just it's it's not fair yet it's not fair yet yeah absolutely so you know those famous those famous quotes by, by people like Kennedy and Churchill, et cetera. I mean, this is this is all about selling you. It's still selling you. You know, the reality is this soul came in to have a certain experience. Maybe this soul's purpose was uh, to shed light on what's going on and something's not really right. But at the same time, there is a lot of technology in there. And think uh, V O G. And the the guides had showed me that recently, and and I do think that voice from the heavens technology, which really is voice from the satanic system, is in use. Again, uh, these people, everyone, <laughs> pretty much in any of the U.S. military and in other militaries, think about Israel right now. I mean, what's been going on is purely satanic over there in the Gaza Strip. Are those people really in control of themselves or is somebody else controlling them? Have they already become part of the Borg? I, I think many have. And then when the soul is fighting back and says, I can't do this anymore. And then you get this little voice in the head that says, go ahead, jump. And that voice is not coming from, you know, God. That voice might be coming from some idiot in, in a room watching you. Uh, that has technology hooked up that can put that into your mind because this is the reality there's enough declassified info of that voice of god technology and you know again it could cause confusion um this is why you know stay organic as possible in this world in which nothing is organic keep you know making that your highest pro possibility and probability keep working towards it mm -hmm. You know, when, when we have situations like this, you have to ask yourself, one, is it possible? <laughs> um, and two, would would they lie about it even if it was possible? And to me, the answer is yes and yes. Absolutely. So, you know, this this is a bill and and really it, it's, well, let me read this. Health Committee, Texas Representative Scott Chapicki, University of California, Riverside, has already perfected the ability to put human ouchies into the lettuce and tomatoes, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and also R.J. Reynolds uh, into the tobacco products. Um, yeah, you know, we've talked about this going back to, I want to say 2018, 2019. So this is stuff we, we know about. But when you look at the legislators, they haven't even heard of this. And, and, and they have questions, and he's trying to answer them. You know, you have these, these reps, you know, uh, and either they're doing a nice job of, of making like they um, haven't heard of it before and putting out questions because they're all just actors because the corporations are going to do what they want. The governments work for the corporations more than, you know, the uh, vice versa. And, you know, again, uh, his question is in, in, in dosing. How do you make sure you're not under or over dosing? Uh, you know, this is all, it shows you where the priority is. It shows you where the priority is. You know, it's just in, in, insanity. And here we have farmers, you know, uh, just clearing the way after roadblocks put in. Uh, I guess is over in Brussels, you know, so many different spots. I was watching them in a video. They're just throwing fresh produce on the ground, ruining it. Um, you know, maybe you want to try to see if we could get it to Gaza, though, of course, Israel won't let it come in to Gaza instead of ruining it, as, you know, people have made to go get um, stuff dropped from the sky or dropped into boats because they're starving to death. And they've been shot on by the army, by the military of Israel. Again, it, this system is so diabolical. And then we have the absolute, you know, people that have no brain cells and, and no heart that just simply say, well, anything Israel does, you know, they're allowed to do because it's the will of God. 
And, you know, not to question why. Yeah, who told you it's the will of God? Well, ultimately, they did, didn't they? You know, it's just, it, it's just, the awakening can be painful. Very, very, very painful. And then that term God is so generic because it's been used on so many beings, and it certainly is not, you know, the creator of this universe as well that people starve to death or live under a system like this world is. Here you have North Carolina, a county, has banned fluoride from being used in the county's water supply. Yay. These are the little victories. Uh, Union County Commissioner's 3-2 vote stopped using fluoride in its water supply after residents were concerned about the possible side effects on children. This is a positive step, and, and this is the type of thing. You, you might not have a, even a totally free state. You might not be in a free country, but you might find a little county somewhere that is just doing its own thing quietly and trying not to get noticed. That's kind of what we mean by finding your way out of the system. You, you do. I mean, you, you have to look to see if injecting your energy into a situation is really, truly worth it for you. Um, I, for one, I look at voting and I, I think that is like a total and complete waste of time. I think calling your representative is a complete waste of time. But if you are a parent and you have information and you feel in your heart like you can walk into a room like this and make a difference, and apparently enough people did, um, that's a good use of your energy. But I don't think it, extending your energy into this system uh, when it comes to the leadership roles it is any good use at all because we can see no matter no matter how good the prospect is things keep rolling backwards bills keep going up not down taxes keep going up not down things never get better it doesn't matter who is is speaking and it doesn't matter what they are saying we're just like we're in a backwards role so 200 percent increase in pancreatic cancer only among women uh, going back to the uh, early 90s, you know, what has caused this, you know, soaring obesity rates. Again, the pyramid that they gave us was uh, totally wrong. Uh, everything that they focused on when they were focusing on, you remember that big fat, you know, low fat and, you know, fat's your problem. No, yeah, fat, makes you fat. fat makes you fat. No, that's, it that couldn't be farther from the case. Again, there are no essential carbohydrates. There's no such term, but you do have essential amino acids and essential fatty acids that your body literally needs. And when they've done what they've done with the education system, which again is controlled by people like Jacob Rothschild and and the Rockefellers, and it goes on and on. You know what? What do the doctors know? They know what they've been taught in in you know the Rockefeller School of Medicine because that's where it comes from. This is what they know, and, and they don't have to even study nutrition. I, I think, you know, it's like 12, 16 hours uh, is all they need of nutrition. You know, most of you that are interested in health and nutrition probably know more than your doctor about health and nutrition, <laughs> but they do know uh, the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, yes, obviously, that, that they do know. So what is causing it? You know, it, it's, it's thought that it, it could be diet related and perhaps related to the fact that women have more estrogens. Oh, well, there's a lot of plastics in our system. We have microplastics in our blood and microplastics in every single placenta that was tested. And how about women's feminine products? That's a big one. You definitely want to get away from those. You want to get away from Band-Aids. You want to get away from cotton balls. All of these things contain these little poisons in them that over time will toxify your body. And when it comes to feminine products, you can go and you can find natural. I've noticed that they are quite expensive, but the alternative is is you end up having problems because your body's absorbing all of these toxins and it's definitely not good. And when you look at doctors who study nutrition, you also have to keep in mind the nutrition that they're studying is also from the Rockefeller Institute of Medicine and that good old pyramid that should have been upside down. The, the, the body so needs fat. I mean, it has to have the good fats and it, it needs it so desperately 
that it will even hold on to the really bad toxic fats just to function. And if you're not bringing in the good fats, the body won't release the bad fats. So to heal yourself, you have to understand a little bit really how the body functions and then go over what you were taught to begin with and under and you have to undo all of that and boy that's a mess it can take a long time um it's really not fair people don't know and then also people are being addicted to foods to such a high degree you know the things that they do to make food taste good is just oh my gosh it's it's unspeakable but it tastes good so people keep going back for more and they don't even know why they're liking these foods why do i have to eat a whole bag of doritos why do i have to eat an entire candy bar why do i have to drink this entire soda oh my gosh that is so bad for the body it and, and all of this stuff just oozes into your skin and your tissues and over time you are your body just can't handle it so you start having reactions you know like cancer like eczema like you know all kinds of things rashes headaches um you name it and then you go to a doctor instead of him being able to tell you nutritionally what's going on he just gives you a pill that covers up the symptom but the body is still screaming for help and it's screaming for help to such a high degree it's just you know it's it, the whole system screwed up Coke and Pepsi switched from sucrose to high fructose corn syrup in 1984. The fructose amount was increased from the amount in sucrose. A new liver disease uh, suddenly appeared, which is caused by fructose and it is now the most common disease in the world by far, as you can see, skyrocketing. This is how, you know, your indoctrination into, <clears throat> you know, hey, you need a break tonight. Just go to KFC, you know, get yourself some, you know, whatever, whatever, and, and you know, supersize your drinks. This is supersizing us straight into the grave. <clears throat> and the reality is, you know, like Cindy and I, we, we, we don't really, um, we don't use any added sugars. Um, no, we, we certainly don't buy anything with high fructose corn syrup in it. No, 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 no. That, that stays miles away. Um, we don't use uh, anything really, but just um, occasionally some true, pure, organic maple syrup and local honey. Um, that's pretty much it. Stevia is 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 okay, I th but again, look and see what else they're adding to the stevia now. Um, you know, there are also those sugar alcohols too um, that aren't processed by the body as much, but. When your taste buds change back to normal, because again, we've been conditioned to appreciate things that are sickeningly sweet, um, you know, and would at this point in time turn my stomach like when I actually eat um, a piece of fruit, it hits me like a typically it'll hit me like boom, wow, that's sweet. And how many people have eaten a piece of fruit recently and and really thought it was sweet? Um, you know, we, we typically can't eat uh, the normal things that most people are eating because we've detoxed from that. We, we've gotten off of it. It is a drug. This is a drug just like any other drugs. And this is killing people just like other drugs are killing people. It's just that society says it's perfectly fine. And, you know, again, you wonder why it's such an unhealthy, sick system. Oh, stay far, far away in, from any of the fast food. And I would put, you know, again, like your big chains into that too. As, as somebody that used to run retirement communities and these communities would operate with a three meal a day budget of $2 and like 50 cents per person for three meals. That's what it's costing them. To get the food from Cisco, it's all genetically modified. It's all loaded with pesticides and crap. And it's all putting you quicker into the grave. This is the reality. Uh, and the Y chromosome is vanishing. What will happen to men? You know, women have double X. Men have XY. And everybody learned, at, at, again, that Rockefeller school, <laughs> that the X and Y genes determine sex. Women have a pair of double X chromosomes, men XY simple. 
But what you might not have been taught is that the Y chromosome is much smaller, carrying around 55 genes compared to 900 for the X. That's no problem. It does a very simple job, an important job, switching on male development in the womb. All embryos are technically female until about 12 weeks when a gene on the Y chromosome kicks in and the male development starts. This is why men have nipples. That's what it says. However, it seems the Y chromosome wasn't always so small, and that's where the problem lies. It's sh shrinking, and some scientists worry it could disappear together. But, you know, there are beings that don't have, um, and it shows like these uh, rats down here. Some of them have lost their Y chromosome, and you know what? They're still able to reproduce, and they don't have an answer for that. So what does that tell you? It tells us that we can't trust anything we're taught in school. And nature finds a way because, again, this is this is consciousness exploring a creation is what we have. And when you, uh, again, give away your power with these belief systems that are all about uh, basically humans being slaves and that's their entire purpose, then y you're not seeing the picture clearly because that is not our purpose. You know, who is your creator? Well, the reality is, in many ways, you are your creator, and there is really nothing that comes before you. Ultimately, it, nothing that comes before your consciousness. Certainly, you know, again, these, these human lives, they're not even pages in a book uh, of the soul. Not even pages. You know, each life might be more like, you know, a sentence when you get down to the the time uh, and span because again time it's it's a construct for this reality and it's hard to understand but the programming of this matrix is such that we come into it and especially in a Kali Yuga we are totally oblivious to the fact that we always are and we're not a, even exactly who we think we are we're something actually much bigger than what we think we are and that's part of the immersive um, effect that we get coming into this experience. It's, it's a total immersion and you lose uh, your real knowledge of who you really are in order to make it feel like it is, is so every moment, every decision is critical, which in, this, in the growth of the soul it is, but it's from a different perspective. You know, I, I look at this and I just think all those kids that did these tests and had these studies and they did, they were marked wrong and, and their grades are affected over all of this science that just is, is not what they thought it was. And I, I don't think that was really such an innocent mistake at a certain level. I, I do believe that at a certain level in a controlling aspect, they know how much they can feed human beings and how much will buy into it for how long they they do they've been through enough cycles to really get a good idea of how we're going to behave and what information can go down and and to me it just makes me so sad because there's children out there and i i really feel i was one of them i did horrible in school i did absolutely horrible but looking back you you just you cannot judge a fish by the way it climbs a tree you know i mean a fish needs to be doing something else in in the water and then it's going to do really good and i was not cut out to do anything that ha has a lot to do with this matrix so i really really struggled and i felt horrible about myself didn't trust myself and, and so many people are like that and it's because they are just different and, and at a certain at a certain place they know that it's all just crap anyway and they're, it's like their higher self will not let them absorb so much and I see a lot of people on social media you know they might somebody might have a question and some other expert jumps in and they say well according to this scientific study and according to that scientific study blah 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 and that's all I hear anymore is blah 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 let's trust the science we can't we can't and we know we can't anymore so at least we've gotten that far yeah every time i hear trust the science it's like just believe our lies right. just, just just believe, believe our, our lies. lies that's all they're saying yeah don't don't believe your lying eyes don't believe don't believe your own experiences just trust us trust 
trust the experts. You know, every time I hear that, I, I just, I get nervous. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, and then there's this cute little guy. I mean, how cute is it? You have a furry fish here. He's cute. Yeah, they discovered 100 new species off the coast of Chile. And, you know, these are at different depths, very, very far down. Again, we could have entire civilizations living under the ocean. We would never know. But the reality is, too, there's mutations going on naturally all the time, and that would include us. And this is, again, why the number one reason why they spread those, those chems up into the sky and yet they'll still have a wiki on it, even when they have acknowledged it officially. It's just a desperate attempt to control the information to keep the flock asleep. Because, you know, they want the flock to just walk off the cliff when it becomes, you know, necessary in order to control them. But again, you know, the, the real controllers... Uh, of this matrix are not malevolent beings when I talk about the original matrix. And, and in some ways, you are part of that con control system because you're taking place in this big experience. And, and it is a natural system, unfortunately, that has been invaded by a very, very dark, unnatural uh, component. And, you know, again, that, that is led by that dark AI system that doesn't have a soul and so it shouldn't really surprise us when the leadership of that system is pretty much soulless mm -hmm. and and that is the reality but again uh you can't overrule the creator of this original construct and you know again the sun is the relay uh primary relay for that so we we are going to be able to change and we are going to be able to move to where they can't go as long as we don't sell our soul in the process and become part of the, the Borg collective. You know, stay as organic as possible. I've been making a point to be out in the sun and it feels wonderful. Today's a little cloudy, um, but the sun is bringing about change and, and it will grow humanity up and out of this dark matrix for those that will allow it to do so. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, since we've given you guys so much wonderful, so many wonderful things to think about, take some time for yourself, take some time for your family, find a fun game, get everybody involved in it and just really enjoy yourselves because what we're up against is it's big it's big and sometimes you just you need an escape you need a break you need to laugh you need to laugh and you need to enjoy and you need to feel love that's what's going to help us through this source bless and namaste namaste